I'm starting today by checking my ketones and checking my glucose. I haven't done this in a while, and I'm not really expecting to be um, in ketosis this morning, but I do want to get a baseline. 0 0.3. Also, I'm going to check my glucose um, just to give me an idea where it is um, today. I am breaking my fast this morning. And I am having some eggs that I've cooked this morning along with some chicken drumettes and some greens that I had from last night. Okay, so I'm at the park. I'm getting ready to walk. First thing I see is a bullet chasing out here. As soon as I get out the car. But just go for my walk. Getting ready to head around this lake. I don't know, I may go more than once. Maybe twice today. Okay. So I'm gonna get started on my walk. Today, this is an afternoon walk again, you guys. Another afternoon walk. And I'm always looking around every time I walk. They've already been out and cut today. So that's a good thing. Yep, yep. Anyhow, are you getting your exercise in? I hope so. There's no excuse not to get any type of exercise in. No excuse. In the water sitting this morning. Let me see. I'm gonna take a cut through here because I don't want to get my shoes wet. You can see that all over there. Okay. Now I'm on the dry path. I feel better. All right. It's not as hot out here yet, which is good. It already had a little rain this morning, and it's supposed to rain some more this afternoon. So I thought I'd go ahead and get out now and get my walk in. Because I do want to get my walk in for today. As I said, I notice I feel myself getting tighter around my core. And you know, that just encourages me to keep on walking and to walk more. So... When you start seeing benefits, you start knowing you're getting the benefits. Hey, it's going to make getting out and exercising a lot easier for you. I think I just saw a turtle. Over there. Yeah, there he is. He's looking at me, that turtle in the water. Okay. Let's keep going. So I got to couple of errands to run I'm going to run those um, after I get through with my walk I have really been enjoying myself um, being able to get out and walk every day um, helps to relieve my stress plus I just get to feel free for a moment when I'm walking, I just feel free, you know? It's a grasshopper. It's a little warm, but not too hot. So, I was talking earlier about some of the meals that I eat. Keto. Two, it looks like I only got two, four, two minutes and 14 seconds. Okay, so I'm doing an evening walk today. Once again, in the, about the same old spot around the lake. Let me go ahead and let you get a good look of it. Just to walk around the lake here. 
you can see it's nice evening. There's Keto Kenny over there waiting on me in the car. See him? <laughs> okay. Anyhow, I hope you got exercise in today. I'm going to walk this really, really fast. So I'm going to be not going to be talking. I'm not even going to be recording today. But I want you to know to go out, get your exercise. I just stepped on something. I don't know what, what my boy felt so weird under my foot. Anyhow, <coughs> walking is the easiest exercise to do. Um, I'm starting my walk off at 36,000 steps about and uh, see how many I add on at the end. I'll see you all then. Bye bye. So I have been walking and praising God just singing his songs and I wish I would have had time to record this and share it with you. But I just want you to know I'm a soldier in the army of love. Said I'm a soldier in the army of love. I'm gonna keep right on marching, singing praises up above. Cause I'm a soldier in the army of love. Yes, I am. All right, anyhow, keep on keeping on because we got this. My next walking day. Basically on any journey that you're having, not just on your weight loss journey. This could be on a journey to better yourself, a journey um, to improve your religious self, a journey to self-improve, self-awareness. Whatever your journey is, being consistent is going to get you to your goals. Being consistent is very, very important. You may fall off. But always get up and start again. Always get up and start again. Start with something like three days of walking. Add in three days of walking to your routine. Um, add in a day of uh, weight lifting. Add in some stretching. I know it's hard to hear when I'm walking in the way speed, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. Just say, remember, consistency is the key. So, yesterday I got most of my workout right here in the backyard. Where I got most of my steps in. I went out walking around the lake, but then we did our yard work. And as you can see, we got a lot done. Took a few branches off that. So, so proud of what we accomplished yesterday. 
got a pretty good sized backyard and it does you know it's the first time that we did the yard since we've been here we did have someone contracted that was doing it we decided heck we can do this ourselves and save that little bit of money in our pocket so here's the yard let me go ahead and take a and we're gonna add some things here okay so I finished my um, exercise and now I'm just sitting down kind of cooling down and I like to sit outside in my garage we each have a chair and we just sit here sometimes and just watch the traffic go by um, but like I say, consistency is so important in whatever you're doing, whatever journey that you have. Consistency is the key. Remember that, consistency is the key. Be consistent on what you're doing. Um, I have been so involved in my move and everything and everything that's going on with that, that, um, you know, I, I, I don't wanna say I didn't take care of myself, because I took care of myself as much um, as I would if I wasn't. My main job that I have been working on is maintaining my weight. And I've done an excellent job on that. Maintaining your weight is just as important as losing weight. It's no fun to lose weight and then be unable to keep it off. So find ways that's gonna help you maintain your weight also. So I've been able to maintain my weight and, and I was maintaining it so good that for a while I just started getting frustrated and saying, hey, I'm just stuck, 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 stuck. But I kept going. Keep being consistent and that scale will start moving again. You may have to tweak some stuff in your diet. You may have to switch some of your nutrition. You may have to add in some nutrition. You may have to switch your macros. You may have to add in some exercise. You may even have to take out some exercise. But it's going to be up to you to find out what works for you. And that's really the point that I'm stressing. So I've had my exercise. And I won't be eating until uh, early this afternoon. I'm doing uh, just a 16-hour fast today. But um, I may switch it up to an 18. If I decide to do a 20-hour fast today, I won't be eating until 5 o'clock which is what I was going to do. And I may still do that uh, 20 hour fast, but I don't try to add a lot of, uh, how do I wanna say back to back, huge fasting to myself because sometimes I have issues with that. And when I do eat, I just eat horrendously. So today I am doing anywhere from a 16 to a 20 hour fast. I will share with you at the end of the day which one I did and you all I use the zero app the zero app is very good for tracking your fasting it's very good for tracking your fasting plus they share little tidbits with you um, and that'll help you along the way about intermittent fasting how to do it um, how to set it up what's best best hours those type of things so find you a good app that's going to work with you for your fasting because fasting um, that really helps with not just your weight loss journey, but it helps you to feel good also. It helps with your skin. I mean, a lot of benefits from intermittent fasting. Um, cell regeneration, all of these things are very, very important. But anyhow, I wanna say, stay focused on you. You gotta stay focused on you some kind of a way um, in your life because like I said there was a time when I didn't focus on myself at all I always focused on others I wanted to make sure that they were okay I wanted to make sure um, you know everything was well with them but you can't focus on others if you don't focus on yourself and make sure that you are well first okay take care of you anyhow talk to you later sitting here having some water after I've exercised stretched worked out all of those good things I like to make sure that I drink some water and usually I'll drink just about this whole bottle after a good workout so make sure you're staying hydrated
very important. You can add in some electrolytes to your water as you're drinking it, but make sure that you stay hydrated. It is breakfast treat day, and I am using keto. Today, I am going to be making myself some keto French toast. I have not had any in such a long time. Pick out your favorite keto bread, and you can see I use uh, just a little bit of the Swerve Confectioner's sugar. And all I did was actually just cook my toast in a pan with a little bit of butter on each side, and then just put me a little bit of the powdered sweetener. Now, I don't use the sweetener very often, but I did use it today, and this is my fat butter coffee. And this is how I'm breaking my fast today, a special treat for me on Sunday. I'm getting ready to enjoy this. I hope you're having a great meal also. Mm -hmm.